Hello guys, in this video I wanna show you how played Faker on Akali. Faker is one of the best player on Akali. So guys, I beg you, this game will be very interesting. And if you wanna play on Akali like a Korean challenger, be sure to watch this video to the end. And now, let's go. Okay, Faker will play on Akali on middle lane against Ari. Oh, Devil's Contest of level 1. A Ari has E, choose your E, he hit your E. Devil's Kindred and War Survive with your heal. And uh, was so close to die. Ari started from E and there was Kindred, so... Faker was so close to fit at level 1. But War saved him. So, okay, it's fine. He did, not, he did not use Ruko because he has Doran Shield. So he has some sustain. And he can stay on the lane. As you can see, you can see his rune below. He got Conqueror, Vicence of Mind, Legion Tenacity, Cow the Grace, Second Wind, Overgrow, Rune Stats, Attack Damage, and Magic Resistance. Classic rune page against range champion on the middle lane is second wind it's pretty good rune also with Doran shield so he can stun the lane and stay against every so fun now as you can see this is so face of lane because he can he can't go on this Ari. She has her E. And Ari can go in on Akali. She can just can only poke her with her W and Q. So I think in this matchup they will just farm and they will try to get some prior to roll on another lane. Now Ari tried to push lane and now she coming for bot lane. Oh, his, uh, his team has gun, the gun plank in, in the jungle. Oh no, there was Viego. I thought this is gun plank in the jungle, it was so interesting. But no, there was Viego, so it's fun. Now this Ari come back to the lane. Kindred at bottom lane. And there was Mark. It's bad for Viega. Because Kindred got free Mark. But okay, it's fine, it's just only one. Akali in this patch I think is very good because a few patches ago got huge buff on her E. And her E use very huge damage and scales very good so i played against akali in my games and she guys really use a lot of damage with her e so i think in this patch akali is pretty strong at middle lane but she has trouble she farming pretty slow She farming not fast like Yone or Vien. But she can kill everyone on middle lane. Oh, Ari tried to cancel TP. But she can. Oh, but now Faker is to recall to the, his base and teleport. And she wanna kill this Ari. But he can without ultimate. But the slain is pushing to the side of Faker. So he can freeze the slain. And it will be very cool. Use his ward and come back to the lane. But they were set. Use his pink ward. But this time Karma with Viego will get dragon. Oh, enemy team has stone dragon. 
Kaisa stalled her with her W and it was so insane. Oh, this damage from set was insane, but not enough. And Viega got the set. But it was so fun. Enemy Kaisa just stole Dragon. Oh, Ari thought a Faker will use his ultimate on her, so she's her flash. But Faker used his ultimate, not on her. We could play in very unexpected. But there was Kindred. And now Kindred losing her time to help this area. And in this time, Wukong with Viega can try to kill this Kindred in her jungle. So it's fine. He has very good CS and Avril has 39 CS, so bad. And now Viega fighting against Kindred. Kindred level 4, Viega le level 5. And Kindred... <laughs> oh. He killed her, even if she used her flash. And Viega will get her jungle. Kindred in very bad position. She died to Viega. Viega has 3 kills and Viega farmed her jungle. So for Kindred it's very bad. Now in the time, you, as you can see, Faker used her, his recall, he pushed left wave, and after that he used recall, and got items. Oh, this Vega again killed this kindred. And in this time, Faker just freeze in lane. Ori is missing, so maybe Shona try to gain bottom lane. Basho bottom lane playing, playing very safe and they use recall. So Ari can gank bottom lane and they in safe zone. Like they're still trying to farm. Ari is very hard champion to kill her. Because she has ultimate with E. So it's bad champion against Ekele. I mean, it's hard champion to kill her on Ekele. Oh, she's still trying to fight. And he can try to kill this Kindred. She's level 5. And she will die. Oh my god. This Faker moves was so insane. He used his ultimate and come back on his E. Oh, but Ari tried to kill Varus and they got Varus. Oh, this Faker, he killed Ari. And now he will try to kill this set. He got set and cast it without flash on ultimate. is food. And. Faker got triple kill in this situation. It's pretty good. Triple kill for Faker. And now he got 4 kills. And his Viega got 4 kills. So guys, now Faker feels good. He tried to push wave before he will use recall. And he will buy, I think, legendary item. Yeah, he got rocket belt. So now with this item he has more ability and magic penetration. And he, I think now he can try to kill this Ari. Ari has very... Bad items. 
Oh, she has a Tehni items. Only this item gives AP. But it's not enough when Faker has Rocket Belt. Oh, this damage. And... And did you saw this damage? My Kindred was there. Oh, what? Kindred tried to fight while... No, I think Kindred saw that Akari has her ultimate charge. So... She did not jump on Akali. Oh, this damage from Vieg and Akali. And they finally got this Kindred. Kindred got 0 phone 1. It's so bad for enemy jungler. When this time enemy DC got double kill. So enemies has a chance. I think not enough cause Fake is so bad. And this time Viega killed enemy can plank. Now our Faker trying to push bot lane, she's teleport. And there was set. Are we coming for bot lane? So I think they wanna try to get this dragon. Yeah, they trying to get dragon, hey, they got dragon. It's a strange situation cause enemies fall behind but they has two dragons. So it's not good for his team. Ari is still trying to push lane. But Faker now is coming. He's rocking belt. He got charm. But it's not enough. Oh, oh my god, this, this move, he just predicted ultimate from Ari and used his E and one shot at this Ari and used his ultimate from tower. It was so good move from Fake. Fake played very good on Akakali. So guys, this is very good move. What guys do you think about Fake? Is he one of the best Akali in the world? I saw a lot of moves from Fake on Akali and I think he's pretty strong at Akali. Also I saw his Silas by Akali and Zed. Zed and Akali is the best champions in his pool. And now he is on recall. Oh, Set was there and they trying to kill Akali. Oh, it was so close, but Kaisa is her ultimate and they got 1000 gold. Kaisa got 1000 gold. <laughs> Karma survived. He's still trying to fight. Okay, they got this Kaisa and Ari. Set survived, but it gets fine. Two cores just died. A faker just died too, and he gave for enemies 1000 gold. It's not good. But key, okay, because his team anyway has advantage. 4000 gold on this manet is very good. And now he coming for a bot lane, because at his middle lane is a bot lane. Soon his teleport will be available, so he can join the fights. With teleport. And this time Viego tried to steal red buff, but use his ultimate to dodge enemy army. Oh, this Kaisa was so alone. 
and to die. Vega stole kill from Faker. Oh. Oh no, he got this set. I thought Viega, I mean Faker wants to kill from Viega as he stealed Isa, but he missed his E, but anyway. So the skill with Rocket Belt. So he had good straight. Viega stole kill from Fake and Fake stealed kill from Viega. And at this time they got Ari. Oh my god, this Viega. He played very aggressive under enemy tower, but he with Immortal Shubo and Immortal Shubo saved him. Immortal Shubo, one of the best items on the Viega. Three months ago, I made a video about Viega. And I just recommended a lot of people to build Immortal Shubo. And now, current players playing with this item. So oh guys, my recommends our work. In this time, our fake ga Jonia and his team so fat. Seven on twenty one, and fake used teleport on this far, and he wanna go to the backline. Kaisa, Kaisa is your ultimate. And he can try to kill this head. He has was charge on ultimate. Oh, he dodged this charm from Ari. Oh, but he Ari hit her. Oh, Jonia. He was so close. He was so close to die by his wife. As you can see, he always saving his was charged on ultimate. He saving a thing for survive. He always using his was charge of ultimate to avoid enemies. So maybe this is his secret. Now his team, in this time, trying to get Dragon, and they finally will get Dragon, with this blade. Oh, Kai'Sa was alone. No, not alone. Oh my god, this damage from Kai'Sa. But there was Kindred. There was so much people. Set and Kindred. And they got our Faker. It's bad for him. Because again, he gave enemy streak. Huge streak. The virus in this build is very strong, guys. He does a lot of damage with this build. And with this item he deals a lot of damage because it gives lethality. Also guys, I saw Wukong has pass win rate in this patch. So maybe guys we need to to make a video about Wukong. What do you think about this guys? <laughs> Oh, he was alone, but he never gives a lot of damage and he tanked a lot of damage. Really guys, I think Wukong is pretty strong in this patch. He gives a lot of damage and this item is just buff. Do you remember guys? This item gi gives more damage and this item reduces more armor. So for Wukong this item is, is very strong. Now our faker trying to pick up someone. 
Oh, there was... Kindred. Oh, he missed his E. So, it's bad. And again, as you can see, he's saving his ultimate, plus charge of ultimate to survive. Now he coming from bot lane, he is ultimate on cooldown, but he's prepared on cooldown, but it soon will be available. But I think he has to help for his team. They can try to feed, and it will be bad for his team. Oh, Wukong, I mean Varus. They will try to get set, they got set. Okay. And it will be over, yes. Oh, they still trying to fight. They will... Faker the, fighting cooldown ultimate and now he has ultimate. But he lost his W. It's so dangerous to go in cause Wukong on the top lane. Wukong has... Uh, cooldown on teleport. And Faker got charm, he is his journey and survived. Oh my god. The plane on limits. Viego and Uncle is very plan so aggressive on and limits. They were so close to die. But Viego finally just died, but Faker survived. And in this time, oh my god! Wukong just saw her. He almost killed both of them alone. So guys, really, I think we need to create a video about Wukong. Wukong is really, guys, with this item, he is pretty strong. Not pretty strong, he is very strong. Hmm, are you still trying to kill you? Faker, so maybe there was war. Hmm, Vega got Imatoshibo of Bozrak and Randuin's? Randuin is pretty strange choice on Vega, but for Tanky, it's pretty fun because it has Kaisa and Kindred. They are both deals critical damage. So this item maybe is good. Oh, they tried to kill Viego and they killed Viego. Oh, he tried to kill Kindred but she's sure ultimate. And Faker just died. But Wukong is survived. He got Kindred. But he is alone. And the enemy team just won this fight. So guys, even if his team has a lead, but he can't win the fight. So these guys Korean players. They playing for enemy mistake. Vega just died first for no reason and enemies won this fight because Vega made mistake. They got Nashor and Dragon. So this is short Drake for them. Or no, maybe Viega. Oh no, enemies can get this Dragon I think. Yes, they can take this Dragon. Because Viega is coming and I can use his teleport. <laughs> so okay. This not for Drake. The second drag for his team. By the way, enemies got nature and they got streaks. So this is gold difference reduced. But now he's still trying to pick up someone. But Kindred is pretty annoying pick against Akali and Viego. 
Those Akali use your abilities to kill enemies and this kindred just saved her allies. Oh, he got set but Akali, I mean Ari survived. Oh, creeps killed this Ari. Find this time Wukong with Viega killed another enemies and the okay, it's good but kindred survived to try to push mid lane so it guys i think pretty interesting game enemies has very good late game but hacker team has advantage and it's pretty good in late game too But I think enemy is much stronger in late game than his team. So they I think need to end this game as fast as they can. Hmm, as you can see Hega got demonic embrace and kind of the cap. The cap is very good item on Akali because she has insane scales on E and ultimate. Kaisa has J. So it's very hard to kill her twice. Oh, enemies was there. And and this Sari is her charm. And Varus with Akali just died. And enemies can end this game. They all are survived. Oh, this Wukong tried to kill this wave. Even in a lot of time. And look how much damage he thanks. Oh, but he finally died, died but. You want a lot of time. The skin to deals a lot of damage. But Faker with Varus will soon respawn. Varus already spawned, but Faker. Okay, now Faker is coming. But enemies will get hit pretty tower. But now they wanna back. Oh, Kaisa just jumped and they will kill this Kaisa. Yeah, and Jay. And that is your ultimate. You just need to wait and fake it to jump in. Oh, it was so close to kill Kindred, but she survived. This Kindred survived. Maybe 10 HP. It's pretty bad for his team, cause this gold re difference uh, are reduced again and enemies much stronger in late game. So it guys seems like a loss. But it's Faker. Faker can win every game. Soon he will get death cap and with death cap he can try to one shot enemies. Enemies has not good front lane. No, enemies had good front lane with this build on can plank and set. But think I can one shot enemy guys are in kindred. Faker now coming from top lane cause he has teleport. So if his team will fight he can use teleport. But soon we'll fight for the dragon. So we be careful. If his team will die, I think they will lose the game. Then be very careful. Enemy team can be there. So they can try to kill Faker. His team is coming. Oh, that was sad. 
set is his ultimate on Varus, and they tried to kill Varus. They killed Varus. Faker is in his teleport, but he's so far. Okay, now Faker is there. He's teleporting and he's trying to kill this array. He's Gronia. And they turned this fight. Oh. They won this fight, guys. It seems like they will lose this fight. But they turned turn this fight to the air side. This Viagakari and Wukong just carried this game. Viega has 16 kills and Faker 14 kills. So much. And now Faker got the got death cave. How much damage he deals? With passive 400? Q 500? E oh my god! Almost 900 with his second E and ultimate. Ultimate. It can deal 1000 damage. It's so insane. And Rocket Belt, Rocket Belt also deals 200 damage. So it's really so insane. He deals very good damage, but if you get enemy charm from Ari, they can one shot him. I said deals very huge first damage. Oh, there was set. Heck is his ultimate. And here's his ultimate to the back. But he's fine because his ultimate has 44 cooldown. So he can play like that. Oh, he's still trying to fight. Did we we'll try to kill Vega? But Vega survived. Okay, without ultimate, he wanna wait for ultimate. We trying to kill someone. They waiting for mistakes. But enemies not a dumps too. Oh, they trying to kill Gunplank. Gunplank survived. Bukong has second charge of ultimate. Oh my god, this fake Move. They got, they got three enemies. Kaisa and Ari. They got, he got Kaisa. Oh my god. This must move from Faker, he's flashy and they want this fight. So guys, you saw how played Faker on Akali. His Akali is very insane. So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also you can write a comment. And now, have a nice day and goodbye.